like with all technological revolutions, I expect there to be significant impact on jobs, but exactly what that impact looks like is very difficult to predict. If we went back to the, the other side of a previous technological revolution, talking about the jobs that exist on the other side, um, you know, you can go back and read books of this. It's uh, what people said at the time. It's difficult. I believe that there will be far greater jobs on the other side of this, and that the jobs of today will get better. I, I think it's important, first of all, I think it's important to understand and think about GPT-4 as a tool, not a creature, which is easy to get confused, and it's a tool that people have a great deal of control over and how they use it. Uh, and second, GPT-4 and things, other systems like it, uh, are good at doing tasks, not jobs. And so you see already people that are using GPT-4 to do their job much more efficiently um, by helping them with tasks. Now, GPT-4 will, uh, I think, entirely automate away some jobs, and it will create new ones that we believe will be much better. This happens, again, my, my understanding of the history of technology is one long technological revolution, not a bunch of different ones put together, but this has been continually happening. We, as our quality of life raises and as machines and tools that we create can help us live better lives, uh, the bar raises for what we do and, and our human ability and what we spend our time going after uh, goes after more ambitious, more satisfying projects. So there, there will be an impact on jobs. Uh, we try to be very clear about that and I think it will require partnership between the industry and government, but mostly action by government to figure out how we want to mitigate that. Um, but I'm very optimistic about how great the jobs of the future will be. Thank you.